Hello, this is Gary Seal with Trucon Sales Consulting once again. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit more about a, what a potential sales consulting engagement would look like with myself and the rest of the Trucon Associates. One of the first things that we want to do is ask you the ownership, leadership, and management of the team about potential concerns that you have so we can look at those things first. Those are really important issues that we can discuss and start to dig into more detail. Then, in conjunction with that, I like to start with a SWOT interview questionnaire, which is a strength weakness, opportunities, and threats review. There are 35 questions oriented around what you're doing well, what may be a concern, what may be a trend, and certainly we want to look at opportunities for the future by going through those questions in some level of detail. The next thing that I've developed recently was a result of my last 12 years of experience working with small to medium business enterprises. This is a 20 point questionnaire regarding the sales and marketing program that you may have in existence right now or some of the areas where I've seen people that had opportunities but weren't capitalizing on them simply because they didn't have the time or the resources or the personnel to do these things. Things like make sure that your website is serving your searching public, the people that are looking to do business with you, making sure your people are well trained, making sure that there's motivation in the company, making sure that you have a digital marketing program in force simply because those things are almost absolute necessities these days. There are 20 questions oriented around those common issues that I've seen. Now, once we get through with some of those preliminary platform type questions, we can start digging into some real depth. I like to talk about people simply because they're the core of your business, that in technology. So we want to make sure that you're hiring well for your outside sales staff. I have a 50 question review for interviews to help you get the right person on the job in conjunction with personality tests that help us select the right person. Now, in conjunction with that, I have a very in-depth sales evaluation and review scorecard that helps us dig deep into what your people are producing, how they're producing it, their attitudes, their potential, and things of that nature. This is a very confidential issue, of course, regarding some of the things that you may not even share with your salesperson, but it helps you get some insights on how you can achieve the maximum productivity with your folks that you have on board or bring on the right person. Now, a platform or an underlying concept around this whole thing of your business, including your sales outreach, is leadership. I have a leadership scorecard that we can take a look at and we can work on some of those issues because leadership goes hand in hand with morale. And from that standpoint, if we have low morale, it can hurt productivity. If we have higher morale, tests have proven that you can have up to 20% more productivity with high morale in the company. And there are ways to achieve that without spending a lot of money. One of the additional things that I think it's imperative that you look at as a company and that I should be able to help you with is your customer service score. How do your customers feel about what they're receiving from you as a product, whether it be a tangible item or an intangible, the service people, the follow-up, the warranties and things of that nature, we can pinpoint and isolate some of those areas. And if there are anything that needs to be shored up, we can go to work on that. Now, I'd mentioned briefly earlier a digital marketing review. There are so many capabilities and things that you can do with digital marketing that don't cost a ton of money 
that it's a shame if you're not involved or you may be involved in the wrong areas or approaching the wrong market. We can dig into some of the details there with digital marketing and help you get on the right track, maintain the right track, or reach out to a broader group of customers and prospects through a digital approach. I don't like to spend a lot of time on your competition. However, I think it is a wise idea to do some competitive research so that you're aware of some of the capabilities of your competitors, perhaps things that they're doing well, some things they're doing poorly, perhaps some things about their pricing strategies that may help you when you go into a bidding situation. And then hand in hand with all of this type of consultive approach and ways that we can get better or improve or strengthen your existing capabilities is training, of course. From a sales standpoint, I have a great 36-page booklet that we can go into significant detail regarding B2B salesmanship. In conjunction with that, I'm a certified sales negotiations trainer. I have a very nice negotiation package that we can go through that can keep you from losing money when you get into a consultation process and you need to do that sort of negotiation with a prospect and so you can close the deal equitably and not lose money. The last thing that I've focused on here in the last year or two is a LinkedIn mining approach which helps us go out and find new prospects and start to build relationships digitally, electronically before we actually reach out to speak to these people in person. There's a very definite process. It's not extremely difficult. It requires a drip email campaign and some other digital tools that you can purchase relatively inexpensively to help you reach out and prospect without putting more people on board or at least having someone on a part-time basis. So in summary, what I would ask you to do is simply reach out to me for a no charge first consultation. Love to visit with you, learn more about your company, see if there might be a fit. If there's not, we can certainly push on from there. If there is, we can start talking about a first meeting in depth, either in person or over the phone, so we can help you break through some of those glass ceilings that perhaps you're not even aware are there that are holding you back and we'd love to help you do that. Take care.